Yee! Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany. I am the owner of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay LLC, which is a company that focuses on costume and prop fabrication, as well as education. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you as part of our community. So like this video and subscribe to the channel. On this cosplay tutorial, we're gonna make more explosions. I, I mean, we're gonna make a hat. And this is the hat for my Megumin costume from Konosuba. So, let's begin. And here are all the materials that you will need for making the base foam part of the hat, including the HD foam. And I will have links for all of these materials in the description. As well as I have a 2D pattern for this hat, which is available on my website, tiffanygordoncosplay.com, as well as a link in the description for that. After assembling your pattern, you're going to want to trace each part onto HD foam. The main part A will be traced onto four millimeter HD foam. And for parts B through F, I trace trace these onto two millimeter HD foam. Next, grab your heat gun and we're going to want to heat treat all of the foam. This will make it so when we go to cut them all out using an X-Acto knife, our lines will be a lot more clean. Next, we're going to be gluing each of the pieces to themselves, and we're going to be using contact cement glue, applying the glue to both edges, letting it fully dry, and then attaching the two parts to make each a ring. Now this next step is not a necessary step, but it will definitely make your pieces attach a lot cleaner. And for this, I went to the workbench and grabbed my sanding drum. And each of the edges, ideally, you want them to be flat and flush. And I mean by this is you want the piece to lay parallel to the table and to touch flush. So sand each of the pieces at that angle. And then for assembling, and for this, we're going to be putting the 4 millimeter part A to the side and to all of the 2 millimeter parts we're going to be applying contact cement glue to all of the edges and there's this little diagram in the pattern that is available on my website to show you which pieces attach where and basically how I design this is all of the seam of where you attach the piece to itself is where all of the pieces are going to attach on the back side of the hat so I first started by attaching B to C attaching the seam at the back first and then I put a little guideline in the front Front where the center was, attached that part, and then slowly connected the two sides to match up together. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be covering this with fabric later. So don't stress out too much if it doesn't fully align. Then continuing with C to D, D to E, and finally E to F. And all of your parts should look like this. Congratulations! You have a hat. Wow! And I'll note that I did not glue the bill of the hat to the top part of the hat because I'm going to be covering this in fabric and for transportation reasons, I'm going to be disassembling these two pieces and attaching them with Velcro. But it is totally fine if you want to go ahead and glue the two parts together to make a witch hat, go for it. And this hat also has some detail pieces and I'm going to be calling them the eyeballs and the mouth strap part. And for this, I traced each of the parts onto two millimeter foam and cut out. Now for the fabric covering. And here are all of the tools and materials that I used for covering this hat with fabric. Reminder that all of these are listed in the description with links. And to first start off, we're going to be tracing each of our pieces onto fabric. And I just used a base cotton fabric from Joann's, nothing too fancy. And once you place your pattern on top of the fabric, I recommend putting weights on it or pinning it to the fabric. And you're going to want to add a seam allowance around all parts. And for this, I did about a centimeter and you'll want to cut this out twice for the bill of the hat. And for the top part of the hat, trace each of those pieces the same way, but you only have to cut them out once. And for the top part of the hat, we're going to pin each of the pieces together, and then we're going to take them to our sewing machine to stitch them. Then with a universal needle and a basic straight stitch, sewed each piece together, 
followed by an overcasting stitch. The last part for the top part of the hat is to sew it to itself. So that way you have the kind of cone-like shape. And again, using a single stitch followed by a cascading stitch. And once the piece was finally finished, you can flip it inside out. Now, grab your foam part, and we're going to get the fabric part, and we're going to just insert one into the other, and it should be covered. And for attaching this, I'm actually going to be sewing it. So first, I took the trim, and I had a little bit of excess, and was able to fold it onto the inside of the hat, and pin it in place. And this is going to be a little bit harder to sew, but you are using foam, so you can bend it back and forth. And I ended up using a straight stitch, and just sewing the fabric to the foam in place. Now for the decorative parts, and these are going to be the eyeballs and then the mouth band part onto the top part of the hat. And for this, I'm just going to be using basic yellow cotton fabric, and I laid my foam parts on top of the fabric and cut them out. You're going to want this to have a lot of extra fabric because we're actually going to be wrapping the fabric around the foam. You'll also do this for all of the red fabric parts as well. Next, you're going to want to tape down all of your foam parts, and you're going Going to apply spray adhesive to the side that you want to cover with the fabric. I highly recommend doing a test of this first as this can sometimes be a messy process and you don't want to have too thick of the spray on it because you don't want there to be bubbles or for it to go onto your fabric too thick and show through the surface. Then you're going to grab your fabric and you're going to want to cover the foam. I highly recommend having a roller or something that you can slide the fabric to remove any air bubbles as you go and you lay the fabric onto your foam and because we want these parts to wrap around the foam you're going to once again go and lay all of your pieces down on some tape and then spray your adhesive onto the back side so you should still be seeing the foam as well as the fabric now once that's done, you will got to get some scissors and trim. And for me, I trimmed around the foam, leaving about a centimeter of fabric around all of the edges. And anywhere there is a corner, you're going to want to use your scissors and cut to that corner for the fabric to fully bend over. They should all kind of look like tabs that we're going to be folding in place. Then just slowly fold each of the tabs onto the back of the foam. And I did this with tweezers. I found it was a lot easier. Just be aware that uh, it's a little bit of a sticky process. And for attaching the finished wrapped fabric parts to each other, we're going to be using contact cement glue again. And I highly recommend before applying the glue, trace where the red parts are going to lay onto the yellow part so you know where to apply your glue. A reminder to let both parts of the glue dry before attaching them together. Now for the bill of the hat. And for this, you should have two parts of the bill of the hat cut out of fabric. You're going to want to pin each of them to their selves and you're going to sew them. And I used a straight stitch for this. Next, we're gonna take both of the pieces and we're going to put them together, having our sewn seam face toward each other in the center. And we're gonna pin the two pieces together in the center. Then sew together with a straight stitch followed by a cascading stitch. Once that's done, you're going to want to grab your foam part of the bill, the four millimeter piece, and we're going to cover the fabric around it. Now, I started with it having the piece flat, put the foam down and then I pulled it through the inside for the top half to cover. Reminder that all of your seams should align in the same spot for this. Then you're going to want to pin the fabric to itself around the bill. And I went back and did this a few times, stretching the fabric each time. So that way it would have a nice tight fit and that way the fabric wasn't all loose and had wrinkles. Then back to the sewing machine and we're gonna use a single straight stitch to stitch it around. And I put the foot of the sewing machine to the edge of the foam part. So I only stitched on the fabric part of this piece. Then trimmed my extra fabric and did a cascading stitch to finish out the bill. And as I said earlier, I want to be able to travel and fly with this hat in a suitcase. And for doing 
that without having it ruined, I needed to have the bill disassemble from the top part of the hat. And for doing this, I used Velcro, specifically the non-adhesive back Velcro. And for starters, I put the male part of the Velcro, I pinned it to the center part of the hat, having the edge be attached with the pins, but still having about three fourths of an inch not attached to that, because I want it to be able to insert inside of the top part of the hat. And then using a single stitch, I sewed it in place, as well as sewing the female part part of the Velcro onto the inside part of the top hat. Now for adding more details. And we're gonna start by attaching the mouth or band of the hat to the top part of the hat. And for this, again, we're gonna be using contact cement glue. And I just applied it to the back part of the band as well as to the bottom section of the top part of the hat, waiting for both parts to dry and slowly attaching them together. And for attaching, it's a little tricky. So I recommend doing a center guideline on the back of your strip first and then attaching that part to the front of the hat and wrap the pieces around until they meet together. And I ended up trimming it so that way they would fit flush, but you'll probably have a little bit of extra foam part that you'll have to trim so that way they will fit flush. And then contact cement glue for attaching the eyes as well. Now the bill of the hat has a yellow trim around it and I didn't wanna just buy basic bias tape from the store, because I wanted the fabric to be the same. So I ended up making my own double-sided bias tape. Yay, this is so much fun. And for doing this, I took my pattern and I made it where there was about an uh, inch trim and I cut that on the edge of part A on the pattern. And this would give me roughly what I wanted for my bias tape. Remember, you will want to add a little bit of a seam allowance to all sides. Cutting this out twice. Then pin the two halves together and you will want to pin it so the outside is the part that we're going to sew. And I used a straight stitch for this as well. And because we want this to look kind of like a double-sided bias tape look, you will want to iron the inside to fold underneath itself. And I highly recommend sewing just a basic stitch for that so that way you don't have extra fabric moving around. Then put it around the bill of the hat and sew in place using a straight stitch. And this is a little bit more tricky, so go slow, take your time, and it's gonna turn out just fine. And the very last part for making is the tail part of the hat. And for this, I traced the pattern onto two parts of yellow fabric. Reminder, you do want your seam allowance. I then pinned and sewed it with a single stitch. And reminder, you will want to leave the top part open so we can flip it inside out. And I wanted this to not just be a floppy little piece of fabric, so I got some batting and stuffed it inside to give it a little bit more life. And then the final step is to hand stitch it onto the part of your hat to complete your big bean hat from Karosuba. And for putting this hat together, it's actually in two pieces. So the bill of the hat as well as the top part come apart and they are held together by Velcro. The reason for doing this was because I travel all the time to conventions and big hats tend to get squished pretty bad in suitcases. So let's try to fix that problem. And by doing this, it's just Velcroed on the inside and it easily comes apart. To two pieces so that way I can transport and go to any convention that I want and just throw it in my suitcase. And that guys is how I made my hat for my Megumin costume from Konosuba. I hope you found this video helpful for making your very own one or making another witch-like hat. Whatever floats your boat. But if it did help you, please let me know in the comments as well as don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. A big thank you to all of my company sponsors here on YouTube as well as all of my members, specifically those legendary members who financially help to support me so I can continue doing this as my main source of income and my full-time job. And I will see you for our next cosplay tutorial. Much love, guys.